tell people, oh, I see a new car in your future. That's a lie. That ain't prophecy. The oath which he swear to our father Abraham. Now, once again, he's going back to the oath God gave to Abraham. Mm -hmm. That he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. That's what God promised the children of Israel. And, it, and this was not just talking about being delivered from Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our lives. Mm -hmm. This isn't just talking about them coming out of Egypt. This is a prophecy that goes way back to Abraham's time. And it extends to the millennial reign and beyond. Mm, Jesus. It extends to eternity. Jesus. This is real prophecy. Mm. And thou child, now he's speaking about the child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest. Mm -hmm. This is what Zechariah is saying about John. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And thou child should be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. Isaiah 40, verses 3 through 5. That's what he's saying. Mm. That's what Zechariah is saying. Zechariah don't have a Bible saying the book of Isaiah in his face. Mm. He's at his home. Mm. They're dedicating a the child. He didn't break out the scrolls. Mm. He's speaking mm. about this child's life. Thank you, Jesus. And it's according to God's word because what he's saying right here is Isaiah 40. Mm. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of sins. Now, what did John do? John did what for the remission of John say, I'm not him, but he's, he was doing what in Ian that he got in trouble for? Whoosh. He was baptizing people. Yeah. And he told them he was baptizing them, confessing their sins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is John eight days old, and Zechariah saying that's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. That's prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of sins through the tender mercy of our God whereby the day spring from on high has visited us. The day spring from on high. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? Mm -hmm. The day spring from on high has visited us. Mm -hmm. Is there any other verse that you can think about in your Bible that talks about spring? Mm -hmm. The day spring. The day spring be. It said the day spring has visited us. My God. Mm -hmm. Think about it. It'll yeah. come to you. To give light to them that sit in darkness. And once again, this is Isaiah 60. I think Isaiah 60 now. To give light to them that sit in darkness, in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. This is what Zechariah is saying John's job is going to be. Mm. He's now told us what the prophet Isaiah said because he's prophesying. This is what Isaiah said. No, no new prophecies. Every prophecy is based on what God has already said. So we have to understand and don't fear prophecy. The Bible says despise not prophesying because prophecy is only according to God's word. That's it. There's no private interpretations in prophecy. Well, let me prophesy to you. This is what God is just saying to you. Nobody else. This is just what he's saying to you. My God. There's no private interpretations. Mm -hmm. Prophecy didn't come by private interpretation. But holy men of God were moved as they spake by the what? Holy, holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. And it is the Holy Ghost that has knowledge of everything mm -hmm. from eternity past to eternity future. And when the Holy Ghost speaks, the Holy Ghost is only going to say that which God has already established. Thy word is forever settled where? In, In heaven. heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So, you might, I don't account this prophecy if somebody tells me I'm going to get a new car in 30 days. That ain't mm -hmm. prophecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. Do you really think with all that's going on concerning salvation and people's lives being destroyed and folks, and we don't talk about hell, but somebody's going, mm -hmm. that the 
the greatest thing God is concerned about is what kind of car you drive. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I really don't. Mm -hmm. Or whether you have a Gucci handbag or what that thing is, mm -hmm. Michael Kors. Mm -hmm. I don't think he really care about that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Because what's most important is God's agenda, and prophecy is because is God's agenda being made known to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's agenda. Mm -hmm. That's what that's about. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Verse number seventy-eight and seventy-nine. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us. That's his spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said in John 7, around verse 38, He that believeth on me, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall what? Flow mm -hmm. rivers of mm -hmm. living water. Mm -hmm. And then there's another scripture, Isaiah, that says, Therefore with joy shall ye dwell, for, shall ye, therefore with joy shall, shall ye draw, water. draw from the, the wells, wells of, of salvation. salvation. And there's another scripture that uses the word springing up mm -hmm. in the everlasting life. That day spring is his spirit. Mm. His spirit, God has come to visit us through his spirit. He's yes. come to visit us through his spirit. Who had his spirit? Number one, John was born with his spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth was Thank filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mary was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now, Zechariah is filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. His spirit is now filling people. It didn't just start on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. We would like to thank him. And the reason why we would like to thank, in which a new era did come forth on the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. but God was filling people with the Holy Ghost even before that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And Zechariah was what? Filled with the Holy Ghost. And Elizabeth was what? Filled, filled with, with the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Mm -hmm. And Mary was what? Carrying what? That which was conceived of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The Word made flesh. The Word, I speak unto you, they are spirit. God's Word is spirit. Thank you, Jesus. She was carrying that spirit. Hallelujah. Embodied in flesh. And we call his name Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So, mm, when we really think about this, look at the importance of fathers. Mm -hmm. He prophesied over his son. Mm -hmm. Did not I say earlier, it's important that fathers speak over their children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in order for them to do that, they have to be there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's important for fathers to speak over their children. It's important for a father to tell his, his son, you are somebody. My God. You're going to do great things. My God. Even if they don't see it, still say it. Put say it out it, there. Say it, say it. Thank you, Jesus. Because God will honor that. Mm -hmm. That's important. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. It's important for fathers to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they don't know what to say over their children, what do you want for your child, Daddy? Mm -hmm. And speak that. Mm -hmm. Because maybe the thing that you really want for your child is what God wants for him also. Mm -hmm. But you got to put it out there. Mm -hmm. Man, this boy's bad. And that's exactly what you got. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. This, this my, my little what? What they call kids? I don't know what all they call them. They call them a lot of stuff. <laughs> but man, this boy's going to be just like his old man. He bad, man. He bad. That's exactly what you got. Mm -hmm. Speak over your child. Tell your child. Don't let nobody. If somebody, a uh, very famous person, if they hit you, you hit them ten times harder, and then you're going to end up just like Esau. Mm. 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 Who was that God said was going to be a wild donkey of a man? When, um, was it Esau? He should be a wild donkey. And they, but one translation don't use the word donkey, it use the other word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how, how they are even now. My God, my God. And it goes all the way back to a word spoken over them. He's mm -hmm. going to be a wild donkey of a man. I think it was Esau. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a wild donkey of a man. His hand is going to be against everybody, and everybody's hand is going to be against him. Mm -hmm. Who do you think fit that description? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was spoken over him. Mm -hmm. When Isaac's wife, what was that? Rebe was it Rebecca? Rebecca? Tried to speak over Benjamin. Mm -hmm. No, no, it, was, uh, uh, it wasn't Isaac. That was uh, Jacob's wife. Mm -hmm. 
was it Jacob and Esau? Yeah, Jacob and Esau. Jacob had 12 sons. Yeah. When Jacob's wife mm -hmm. tried to speak a name, she was dying and she tried to name Benjamin and she called him Benoni, mm. child of my pain. Mm -hmm. That was it Rachel. Was it Rachel? Who was um, the 12 sons of Israel? <laughs> Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob married who? Rachel. Then it was Rachel. Thank you, ma'am. So when Rachel was dying, she decided she was going to name that last son Benjamin, and mm -hmm. she called him Benoni, which means child of my pain, mm -hmm. because she was in pain and her life was leaving her. Mm -hmm. And instead of um, Jacob just comforting her and just letting it pass, they go, no, 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 you're not going to name him that. Mm -hmm. His name shall be Benjamin, mm -hmm. son of my right hand. He changed that name. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. He changed the name. Some of y'all fathers, if you listen to me, you need to go check out what your son's name is and you need to change it. Mm, my God, my God. Because you got what you said. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, is it that important? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Because you should have what you say. My God. That's very important. My God. When Zechariah acknowledged John, then God I'm going to say reverse the curse. He turned the tables. He was not able to speak because now he was speaking what God had already ordained. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to speak, what God has already ordained. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And we can't do that if we don't know it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, Hallelujah. In closing, a few takeaways from this lesson. Thank you, Jesus. Number one. Children need their fathers. Yes. I don't care what this generation is saying. They need their daddies. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Number two, fathers need to start speaking over their sons. Mm -hmm. Daughters, too, yes. need to speak over them. Mm -hmm. Next, you, Jesus. if you have the Holy Ghost at some point in your life, you shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't be afraid of it. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is find out what prophecy is. That's speaking what God has already said. It's not making up stuff. Come on now. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Some of you do prophesy and don't know it. Mm -hmm. When you speak in tongues, often you prophesy mm -hmm. when you speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. My God. By prophecy, by revelation. Thank you. Jesus. Okay? Next test takeaway from this is you've got to know God mm. and the only way you're going to know God is by knowing what his word says mm -hmm. you are no more spiritual than your prayer life and you are no more spiritual than the amount of word that's in my you God, my God. so if you don't have a prayer life and you don't have word in you mm -hmm. you're not spiritual, you're carnal mm -hmm. thank you Jesus think about it, this is important so when push come to shove, mm -hmm. and when the day of testing comes, mm -hmm. if you don't have word in you, you're not going to make it. Thank you, Jesus. You have to have God's word in you. Mm -hmm. You have to develop a prayer life. Mm -hmm. you have, that's not optional. Mm -hmm. That's emphatic. It's imperative. And I'm done. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Yeah.